Hi everyone, welcome to Gainus HQ and today's tutorial I'm gonna teach you on how to remove GD5 black screen issues, not responding crushes or ERR GFX in it. So first thing is update your Grand Theft Auto 5 into version 3 if you have the rock ones or if you have the original one uh, download the latest update on steam or rockstar social club and it's up to you so and number two is step two is update your graphics driver into latest version i'm using a nvidia yeah now your graphics driver i'm using a geforce gdx 670 update to i already update to 350.12 that's it or if you have the AMD graphics driver, download it in the latest version. And step three is download and install MSI Afterburner. I will give uh, a link in the description below in order for you to download MSI Afterburner. And after that, I already after you installed MSI Afterburner, launch it and try to and down clock your in the step four down clock the core clock around 100 to 240 megahertz using msi afterburner and i use around 240 megahertz it's up to you you can down clock the range it up between 100 to 240 megahertz the reason why to down clock your core clock because some games can't run higher clock speeds and some people say that in the internet that uh, too much clock speeds can cause game uh, the will cause black screen issues or crush cr crashes on games after that is that's all and it works for me and step five it's optional you can if you have a issue this one if you have an issue like this in order for you to fix that is you have to sacrifice it go to documents go to rockstar games g5 settings and open it to notepad after you open to notepad and find the dx version this one will find dx after you already find it from two changes to zero this will change this will your graphic settings will turn to this will make the game to direct x10 and save it or after this after that you save the game but for me it works on direct x0 if if it still not works wait for an update on grant of auto 5 to solve your issue of the game that's all guys but this part it really works for me but it, this this is an optional if you want to change the direct extent if the crash still remains but i'm still using a direct x11 right now but i already applied this one and it still works so thank you guys for watching my grand theft auto 5 black screen tutorial uh, how to build black screen tutorial and don't forget to subscribe Games HQ for more Grand Theft Auto and tech videos, gameplays, and more.